Hello everyone, welcome back to our last video in our DLP experiment. So in the last video, um, well, by the way, my name is Devin Adams, Fortnite instructor, blah, blah, blah. No one's watching these, but I guess technically I should be introducing myself in case you watch these out of order. But anyways, in our last few videos, we're setting up a DLP sensor and uh, we tried to do the file name match and that was circumvented pretty easily. So, but it's less resource intensive. Then we did the, the file type, which can be tricky because you'll get a lot of false negatives, right? We can't just block all picture files being uploaded. Maybe we can, but it's not practical in a lot of cases. But if there's a very specific file that we need to protect or a, a collection of files, we can point the DLP sensor to a file share and then it can go ahead and fingerprint our our uh, documents within that share and then we can create a sensor to look for those documents so uh, let's go ahead and see if that works so um, right away uh, I'm gonna go into my my Windows machine and you can see here we have the fingerprinting as our second block our first block is still our Mona anything okay uh, that way, if, if someone's trying to, to pick up anything named Mona, it will block it. Uh, I took off the JPEG because I didn't think the JPEG was very realistic. Blocking everything that's JPEG is just, it'd be silly, right? Um, so let's go ahead and, you know, before we do anything, let's go into our Linux box here. And let's make sure that it's at least blocking the Mona Lisa. So I'm going to change this back to, to Mona. And I'm going to try to upload it and make sure that it's at least doing its job there. So there we go. And I'm going to hit uh, cleanse the evil. Oh my gosh, it blocked it. Well, that's what we're expecting, right? Now, if we go back to our FortiGate, okay, and uh, here we are. And we look at our rules, or our, our not our rules, but our logging. And we go to data leak, we can see that... All right, we had a block, and that's because it matched the first filter index. Okay, so it blocked it because it was called it was called Mona. All right, so um, if someone came by and and named it Joanne, it would get through. Okay, so we also saw if we put it in a docx file, um, it detected it being a JPEG in there, embedded in there, but it renamed the image to image one, so that was no good there. So um, let's see if our fingerprint scanner actually or share actually worked. Now I didn't do this in the last video. I, I thought about it after I cut the video off. Um, in order to test the DLP um, share, there is a diagnostic command. So there's a diagnose, test, application, uh, DLP fingerprinting and there's different levels of, of testing here you have to look up the 40 OS manual to know what each one of these levels are it's going to be unique depending on what daemon that you're running so 9 is how we do the check so 9 says there are three files that have been scanned and added with the share that you've set up okay so um, if we go into our file share itself, it's like nine files. Did I really have nine files or three files? So I come over here and I go to my, my, um, uh, let's see here, my file share. I mean, I have two files there. So maybe there's a hidden file in here because I have something open. That is possible. So you got to be careful when you're just doing a, an everything here. Now, normally we'd scan a type like everything, um, PDF right of, of this folder would be classified or something like that, but ours was a, a Mona no so uh, it says that it's working So let's go ahead and, and see if the fingerprint actually does its job. So somebody comes along and changes that file all right and Let's go ahead and change it to uh, your your junk. This one was that batch file get out of here Never want to see you again. All right. There we go. Let's change Mona now to uh, Joanne, okay? And let's go ahead and submit that one and see if our, our sensor now picks it up, our fingerprinting. So uh, let's go to our shady website. All right. And uh, so this is on the share itself. Now it shouldn't really matter 
Here we go, Joanne. Submit it. Ooh, it went through. Okay, so the file fingerprinting did not did not scan it. Now I wonder though, let's do it from the actual uh, file share itself. So, um, you know what? Yeah, see the difference in size here, guys? My Mona.jpg was actually way smaller. And this one, I converted it. I remember I converted it to BMP, and that's why it was so big, and that's why it got through. So, yeah, changing changing a file to, to BMP actually circumvented it. So, um, actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and can I rename it from here? Let me see if I can uh, here. Just one moment. We know it's going to block because of Mona. Uh, let me hit the refresh here. You'll see that the file type. All right. Says success here. It's saying that it's an icon. Okay, sure. So different. Anyways. Um, weird. All right. Let me go ahead and go on here, go on here. Sorry, guys, kind of flopping all over the place, doing this by ear. I'm just going to rename it. I'm going to call it Joanne. There we go. Okay. Now, I'll hit a 5 or, or what have you to, to refresh it. See how it's called Joanne. All right. So there you go. So even though we called it Joanne, right, it picked it up because we had a fingerprint for it. All right. So now if I go back to my my um, Windows machine, okay, and I look at it here. Let me refresh the log files here. All right. See how it said the, the filter type was number four for the fingerprints. And it wouldn't have mattered if we called it joanne.tex or joanne.pig as long as the, the file was not converted to something else, right? Uh, it would have picked it up. Now, here is the real test. This is what I'm actually curious about. Now, that file is embedded, okay, inside of the... Um, docx file. So let's go ahead and take a look at that briefly. Uh, let me make sure it's not the, the BMP file. So, um, but let's go back to our Linux box. So, all right, here we go. And I'm going to open that up one more time. So here's my file share. What a smile. All right, we should be able to pop in there. We'll go to Word, Media. Okay, so I mean, it looks like it's the right file size, but our Mona everything would not pick it up, okay? Because it's not called Mona. It was embedded as image one. And on top of that, um, uh, what you call it, it's it's zipped. It's compressed within that .x file. So, um, and it wouldn't be practical for us to block all JPEGs and all, all Windows uh, Word documents. So... Um, I'm curious to see if this one will, will catch it. I'm, this is kind of the climax of the whole entire video series here. So let's see if fingerprinting will actually capture it here in the embedded file. So and look at that. Look at that. It did. So we had that image fingerprinted. It was in a docx from a Microsoft Word document, and it did capture it, my friend. Wow. I am... I'm actually kind of impressed. So um, let's take a look on our on our Windows machine. All right. So I'm going to hit refresh here. So what a smile! It still came through as a docx, okay, but it found that image file compressed within the XML file, and it blocked it. Now it doesn't give you any more granularity than that. So 
Um, now there is probably some kind of detail that we can we can see out on what um, actually you know what maybe not so because once again if I really wanted to to know what was in here I'd probably need to take some kind of like file capture I'd probably just go on the share drive and take a look um, but that is kind of that is kind of neat so um, you know what I just realized it fingerprinted that document, didn't it? So I am com I am completely lying. I am completely lying. I just realized that it would have picked that up anyways because it was fingerprinted within the share. I am a complete idiot, guys. We're gonna have to do another test. I'm just procrastinating this. I hope you get get that right. I I actually had that document in the share, so that's what was fingerprinted. I was looking to see if it looked for the file in it. So me putting it in the share before I did the fingerprinting actually just killed this example. I'm glad I, I caught that right before I, I exited out here. But I think there is a, a word equivalent on here. So let's try to embed it in this document here. So uh, let's do a insert. Um, this isn't even insert pictures. Okay. And let's try to do the share me here all right could not read the contacts of course you couldn't nope that's not the right one all right I'm just getting the right the right document all right other window shares come on you can do it Arr. I love screwing up on on camera all right there we go. We'll just do this the the good old fashioned way, and that's uh um oh you know what it might have did I already exit out of there? That's kind of weird. It did disappear. So we're gonna have to go to go to uh, network Windows network. It's probably gonna make me re-authenticate. All right. Yeah, that's why. So. That's okay. We'll just have to put in Bob's password. All right. It's probably timed out on me. There we are. And then I'm actually going to take this guy right here. The Joanne one. I wonder why that's corrupting. That's so weird. Yeah, it's fine there. I'm doing something weird there. Dragging it there. All right. Let's see if I can't do the share me. At least it's been authenticated. All right, so that's embedded. So now I'm going to do a file, save as, right? Uh, can I save this as a, a docx file? Uh, let's see here. I mean, technically, it's a it's an XML file. Um, I'm seeing if they have a. Oh, there we go. That should work. And we'll call this. What a gal! I don't know. So, <laughs> all right, here we go. I'll just stick it right there in downloads. What a gal. Now let's see if it actually picks it up. I got all excited for, for no reason whatsoever. Okay. By the way, I'll put this whole series on my bucket list of, of re-recordings. All right. Uh, well, let's go to our shady website. Let's go ahead and go to browse. I'll go to downloads. All right, what a gal. All right. It still picked it up. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see it um, actually detecting the, the file embedded within o D -O -X, D -O -C -X, and I was pretty confident that it would. So um, just to double check here. All right, see what a gal fingerprinting and it was able to, to detect the fingerprinted image in there. And once again, it's still recognizing it as a MS Office file, okay? But um, that should have been enough code difference to where it didn't pick it up using the the signature of what a smile, but actually of, of the Mona Lisa. So, so there you go. I have no idea if any of that was helpful there, but um, yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll end the in the series of videos. Um, let me know if you have anything to add. Send me an email. Um, and I, I'll probably have to re-record these later on, but I hope it's it's somewhere to start. So 
Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. All right.